Today at Axel's, we're waiting online in the cold for over an hour for breakfast. Nashville, Tennessee at Biscuit Love. at Biscuit Love and I will have to just start off by saying it was the best breakfast I've ever had. So Biscuit Love was a food truck in Nashville and it got so popular they decided to open up a storefront and the, the seating inside is probably about, if I had to guess, I would say about 40 to 50 people inside the place. So there's lines and apparently they open at 7 in the morning, the line at 7 they claim is 15-20 minutes. We got there 10-ish, 10.30-ish on a Saturday morning. And the line, the estimated wait was 45 minutes to an hour. We waited about 50 minutes. It was a double line and you, you, you'll see, you saw in the, uh, in the clip, it was a long line and it was cold. It's April in Nashville and it was like 35 degrees and windy and just cold. And we were like, this better be worth it. But in the end, it was definitely worth it. So what did we get? We got the, um, bow nuts, which are the, the staple there, and that's their most popular thing. And they claim they run out of bow nuts sometime in the early afternoon. So we got the bow nuts. The bow nuts are a biscuity kind of deep fried donut. People from the Northeast, um, you'll know it as sort of like a Zeppeli, but a lot lighter. And they have like a creamy cheese kind of, what do you call that cream cheese? It was Michelle? lemon mascarpone. 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 Like a lemon mascarpone, cream cheesy kind of capone. I don't know. Anyway, it was some kind of cheesy thing on top, and they got powdered sugar on them. And in the middle is some kind of blueberry jelly with blueberries in it. And they were awesome. And they serve it as an appetizer. You get that first. And we, the two of us split them as six, and we ate three of them. And it wasn't like eating three Zeppelis where you're just like, ah. They were really good, really light, and they were they were just good. They were good. You got to get them. Then I ordered the East Nasty, and the East Nasty is their um, signature sandwich. It's a biscuit, a deep-fried battered chicken, boneless chicken thigh with cheddar cheese and sausage gravy, and they also have an option to put an egg on it, so I got an over-easy egg on it. And unbelievable you can't make it into a sandwich it's just too big and messy to make it into a sandwich you got to eat it with a knife and fork and it was really good and then i tried some of michelle's she got the benny with a southern benny or something like that and tried some of hers hers had ham um instead of chicken like mine hers had pretty much had ham with the sausage gravy and the, and the egg on it and hers was really good too the ham was real nice fresh tasting light it wasn't like a heavy greasy ham it was a, it was really nice smoky flavor and we got a side of cheese grits and the cheese grits were really really cheesy um i usually don't make cheese grits um but these cheese grits are really cheesy um you can't eat a lot of them because it was just so thick and heavy and cheesy but all in all it was it was a really really good breakfast um you pay for it it's not cheap it's not crazy expensive but it's not cheap for the two of us um with two coffees and what we ordered, we were around $50 with the tip included. Um, the line, an hour, it was worth the wait. So while you're online, of course, you're, you're BSing back and forth with, with different people. And it turns out that the guy that I was talking to, we were talking about Chevelles and about old cars and stuff like that. I don't know how that conversation started, but it turns out he won three Oscars. 
and we found out because we overheard somebody else talking um, later on. And then my wife tells me after we leave the place, and oh yeah, that guy that you were talking to, he won three Oscars. So you never know who you're going to talk to when you're waiting on a line somewhere. We'll see what Michelle has to say about Biscuit Love. So we went to Biscuit Love this morning because that was one of, on my husband's bucket list of doing this weekend, which is fine. I'm always up for anything. But when I saw the line this morning and I knew it was an hour wait, usually for me, no breakfast is worth an hour wait because I don't like the cold at all. But I'll be honest, the food was amazing. Um, I, like Rob said, I had the, the, the cheese grits, really good. I then had the biscuit with the sausage gravy, two eggs over easy it came with, and ham. Delicious. And like he said, you can't make it into a sandwich, you have to eat it with a knife and fork, and I couldn't even eat the whole thing. So I gave him like, you know, mo a lot of my meal, because it's just filling. But, and we had the bow nuts, which they weren't filling, which is nice. You didn't feel like really gross after you ate them, because they, they were light and fluffy. And I like all the lemon and the blueberries together, so it was really, because it came with the lemon and the blueberries. And it was really good. And I would definitely recommend this place. And, the, oh, by the way, the coffee was excellent. I, my, that was one of my best cup of coffees also. And I'm a big coffee f fan. So that was my take on Biscuit Love. I uh, definitely recommend it. If you're coming, it's definitely worth the hour wait. But prepare yourself if it's cold. Bundle up. All right, so there you have our review for Biscuit Love. We're both giving it the best breakfast we've ever had. Now, they claim it's a big tourist trap. Pretty much everybody online was not from Nashville. So if you're visiting the area, you're not from Nashville, embrace the tourist trap of Biscuit Love because it's worth that hour wait online. If you go earlier, you're only gonna be about a half hour. They say if you get there about eight o'clock in the morning, it's usually about a half hour. It's pretty streamlined inside. You get through pretty fast, the line keeps moving. If you're from the Nashville area and you have not gone to Biscuit Love, you're missing out on a jewel in your own hometown. So definitely check out Biscuit Love. We've never been to a place yet where we're given such a good rating um, and saying it's the best thing I ever ate. So when it comes to breakfast, this place, the best thing I ever ate. That's it today from Axel's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We enjoyed it, even though we had to wait out in the cold for an hour. We still enjoyed doing it. That's it today. Please subscribe to our channel. And as always, thanks for watching.